Rule number one, never give up. So this scenario we go in, and it's two against like twelve with some kind of a pre-made. And you know we could have just said, ah oh, well, they attack us, it's over. Let's die. But sometimes it's okay to do that I guess, but uh whatever, the fight engage and you try your best to live. You try your best to fight as good as you can, use all your abilities, all your defensive cooldowns, downs, your potions. Uh, even double tank, like, challenge is really awesome. Let, let us live a long time. And keep surviving. And at some point, you might get the shot to push back. Right, so, you, you need to know when to hold them, and when not to fold them. <laughs> so, you, you just hang on, hang on, hang on, and at some point, Sometimes they go a bit too ballsy and we score a kill and then we can push, right? CC the tank, push for the sword, uh, kill the sword. And we keep going, going straight for their main healer. Manage to get the root, we kill him and then we wipe them and we ended up winning the scenario. So that was a pretty good example of like, you know, not giving up and keep going. In this part, I want to talk about the healers. Uh, this has nothing to do with the clips that are going on. There's no point in the clips to, except to prevent uh, total boredom uh, for you. Um, so uh, when I bug scenario, I, I go with the simple like classification of healers that are on my team because I don't play the same way uh, depending on what kind of healer I got. So basically I go from 1 to 3 stars. Uh, 1 star healers, I play like if I don't have healers at all mainly are DPS healers or really low Bs or people I know that just they struggle very badly uh, at healing and, and you can't really rely on them. Uh, two stars healers are, are okay healer like you can play decently aggressive but I won't push all the way like to the back lines I, I'm gonna stay con conservative and there's the three stars healers those are like people I, I trust like that I can charge into five, six people, and they they will make sure I, I, I live through it. Um, and this is really important. Like, there's a lot of things that goes into doing well in scenarios, and this is one of the important one is knowing the players. You got to know the people on your team. You got to know the people on the other team. Uh, even even if it's not uh, per se like you don't know them well, just knowing them enough so you don't get screwed over and over and over. Uh, so healers, really important, and then know your enemies, it's the same thing for them. They have sometimes healers that are really good and it's just pointless to go after them. Um, they have healers that are really good, but if you go after them, they start running. This is really useful to know. Um, they have healers who are decent, but if you go onto them, like they don't detaunt and you can kill them. Uh, which is really really important stuff that will help you win games and make good decisions uh, so you can like do better uh, when you pug scenario and it's not like hopeless to win every single freaking game um, so that's it for rule number two uh, and let's go with rule number three next in this part we're gonna cover the CC lanes and how to control the fight um, and this is the most important job you have to do as a tank to control the fight. Uh, in my mind it's more important than God and uh, challenge. So here I just joined and my team is starting to wipe. There's a new Destro coming in uh, and I'm not really sure what's going on. So uh, I see one of the tank is taking damage so I'm uh, just checking out if I can help him and I can't really. He's way too far and this is something you don't want to do like you want to um, I do it all the time though, but <laughs> you want to stay uh, in some situation here. I have a good healers, we have good DPS, so I want to stay in a position to help them. Uh, so right here, like he's in trouble, my healer, so CC the tank, CC the DPS, create separation, uh, and hope we can score the kill, and I think we do. And here I keep kiting back with my healer, because everybody else in the group is dead, so there's really nothing else to do. Um, and the bridge is a really good spot, like tight place like this where you can 
put your back to the wall like right here I put my back to the wall so I can run their tanks into water and really there's there's really no way we could just like charge in like maniacs here uh, we'll get chopped down to bits uh, they have like two or three sorgs they have good chopper they have a brother they have three tanks so the goal is to stay aware of where their tanks are uh, in relation to me so I have a good punt lane on them but they don't have a good punt lane on me so basically if I see them like I don't have immunity and I see them like being in a position to punt me in the water I want to keep my back to the to the wall fence of the bridge uh, I don't do it perfectly all the time but you try to do it so you establish position and you know you try to move from left to right so they never really have a good way to punch you off or CC you until one of them makes a mistake and here it's the sword once we score that kill we can push and I see Gloom alone uh, on the right side so I'm gonna go for him and the goal here is not to kill him it's just to make him run away remove some pressure of my team so we can keep pushing and this is important like when you have a decent team you don't want to just chase the freaking sork all the way to the back um, and then end up dying yourself and then Destro can push back whatever if you play Destro Order can push back and push your team all the way to the work camp uh, so just let him go switch target like right here the dog made a mistake he stayed out of position so I just switched to him and my team could, could uh, kill him so like switching target instead of just chasing to keep you know that that line you're trying to establish between them and your team and to CC their tanks but not being CC yourself helps you push them all the way back in this part I want to show you how to kill healers so one of the one of the thing against healers uh, is that if there are any good if they have a brain they will detaunt you and there's really nothing you can do during the detaunt so what you want to do is you want to take that 15 seconds to buff up and have all your dots rolling and when the detaunt reaches like three seconds or so you taunt and when it reaches one or zero you just knock down so you can't re reapply it and then you burst and that's just how you kill the healers uh, if you're against dark or tougher healers, you can wait for your morale one to destroy more armor. That helps a lot, but that's how you do it. Alright, I want to conclude this series um, by talking about the fact that it's alright to be you okay, as a tank. You don't necessarily always have to play uh, inside the conventional wisdom box uh, that everybody seems to be having, like that the tank is a tanky tank, that guards and challenge it does no damage uh, I feel like sometimes it's fine to be you and just go ahead and um, do your own thing to try to win the game like right here we have no healers and I decide you know what I have no idea how those DPS are gonna play so instead of going guard them I'm gonna go and try to fight like 1v2 1v3 hold as many destroy as I can and hopefully like we can win the game and it's Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I feel like first off it's a game and second, being who you are as a tank is just, just the way to go, I feel. And the second clip is pretty much the same thing. The game has been going for 3-4 minutes and it's going nowhere, we can't get out of the work camp. So I decide, you know what, screw guarding everybody, picking weird targets, I'm gonna push for the Obi Zealot. And uh, I end up scoring the kill on him. And then I can keep pushing on EPKA, it's probably their best DPS. Uh, and so taking out those two guys out of the game finally lets my team right uh, take control of the fight and wipe the enemies. Uh, so you can't play like that all the time, obviously. It's like it goes against what I said in most of this video. But sometimes I feel it's fine to just beat you. Uh, if you, you want to play tanky tank, do that. If you want to charge in and be the badass to ender, do that. Um, and sometimes it can win, win you game. If you do it at the right time, it can help uh, to win some games. So hope you enjoyed the series. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.